In this lesson, I will show you guys how to create a base mesh for a character. But before that, I want to show you this concept art that I made. Um, before I go on and sculpt in ZBrush, I like to create my concept work first. It took me about a couple hours to do this. I'm going to show you how to create a, a beastly character. Uh, he's basically a half, half um, human, half lion. And he's going to be wearing some armor and some clothing, as you can see. And the designs here, I was inspired by the by the Mayan design. And so this is what I'll, I'll be showing you guys how to create. All right, so now back in ZBrush. Go ahead and turn off the light box. And we're going to start out by creating Z spears and then turn that into an adaptive skin to create our base mesh for our character. Go to your right tray, click on where it says Tool, and you're going to find Z-Sphere here. Click on Z-Sphere, then click and drag onto your canvas, hold Shift to snap in place. Then go to Edit Mode, press X for Symmetry. This is going to be, this Z-Sphere here is going to be the start of our torso. So we need to create more Z-Spheres here. Click, hold and drag, and another one. And let's go ahead and create our shoulder area. And you could go to Move Tool to position that in place and scale that down. All right. Now for our neck area, click Hold and Drag. And you could go to the side view, make sure that your Z spears are looking okay from the side. Go back to draw mode and create another Z spear here. You go back to the move tool and bring that up. Now these different modes that you see here have hotkeys for them. So if you go and hover your mouse over here, the draw mode is Q for the hotkey. So if you press Q on your keyboard, it will go out to draw mode. For the move, it's W. For scale is E on your keyboard, rotate is R on your keyboard. So instead of me going back to these and clicking them, I'm just going to use hotkeys for them. All right, so now time to create the arm area. While I'm on draw mode, watch as I do this here. Click, hold, and drag, then hold shift to snap. Let go of shift, then hold control, and drag your mouse. This allows you to extend your Z spears. Now you could scale it down, press W to move and position this in place. You need to scale this down also. Now my character is going to be really huge, so he's going to have a big shoulder. He's going to be really, really built. He's a, a scary, beastly character, very intimidating, so he's going to have big muscles. He's going to be pretty huge. So I got to extend the shoulders there. To snap onto the side view, hold shift to snap so you can look at the front. Go back to draw mode and create my lower arm, hold shift and hold control and drag. I like to make my arm looks, look relaxed. Alright, so it's going to be for my arm area. Go back to draw mode and create my hand. Now I'm going to create my thumb, index finger, middle finger, ring finger, and my pinky finger. Now, if you actually accidentally make a mistake here, you could actually delete the Z spears by holding the Alt key and just clicking on the Z spears to delete your Z spears. All right, let me go ahead and put that back in place. All right. Okay, now I'm going to create some more Z spears. Click, hold, and drag, then hold Shift, 
let go shift hold control and drag up so this allows you to extend your fingers go back to draw mode click hold and drag hold shift and hold control to drag back draw mode again hold shift let go shift hold control and drag say so same process I'm just here creating my fingers and of course I'm going to go back to these and fix them position them in place all right so it's good to look in all views look around and like I said if you hold shift you could snap to the front view as you drag your canvas hold shift to snap onto a particular view So those are my fingers. I like to make my fingers look relaxed. So I'm going to go ahead and create more Z spears on these fingers. So I'll go back to draw mode and create more Z spears here. I'm going to use my move tool to kind of relax them, move them up. If this is your first time creating Z spears, don't worry, you will get used to to creating these and moving these around. It takes time and practice. You'll get there. And I, I notice here that the the Z spears on the hand are a bit too big, so I could go back to scale and kind of scale that down. Scale it down too. Alright, and go back to my move tool, kind of bring that down. When you're creating your Z spears for your base mess, I suggest that you look at the anatomy reference, human anatomy, so you could get the basic shape down and the proportions. Since our beastly character is going to be half human, it's good to have human anatomy references. Also, some animal anatomy references that actually have a little animal look to him. So half lion and half half human. So it's good to have animal anatomy references. All right. So now it's time to do the hip area. Create another Z spear here. Click, hold, and drag. Hold shift. Let go shift and hold control and drag down. All right. It's gonna be for our leg area. Extend that a bit. Now, if you want to see how your geometry will look like, you could press A on your keyboard and you could press A again to go back to Z spheres. So you could switch back and forth between looking at your adaptive scan, adaptive scan, which is your geometry. Press A again to go back to your Z sphere. Alright. So go back and create another. Z spear here. Click hold and drag, hold shift and hold control. Go back inside view. <laughs> get his leg. You gotta fix the leg. Position everything in place. Look in all views of your Z spears. Alright. I think this this is going great. Just bring that down a bit. Press A again so I could look at the geometry. Alright. Now it's time to do the feet area. Draw mode. Click, hold and drag. Shift. Then hold control. Go ahead and scale that down and position it in place. Alright. Okay, so now my character's uh, foot is gonna have it's gonna have a lion, a lion's foot. So I have to the animals walk on their toes. So I have to create some extra Z spears here. Click hold and drag. All right, so there you go. Animals are 
tow walkers. And my guy here, my beast, half beast, half human, has the feet of a lion. Alright, press A. Okay, so just gonna fix the proportion a bit. Hmm. I think the legs are a bit too long. Gonna bring that up. Alright. Okay. So I think this will be a, a good mesh to work from. And if we need to fix more of the proportion, we could also go back and do that later. So this is a good mesh. Now, once you're happy with that mesh, all you gotta do is turn this into the to, into an adaptive skin, and then you're ready to sculpt. So, go to turn this into an adaptive skin. Just go right here on your right tray and find adaptive skin. And you have the density here. If you set this on density one and you press A, yeah, you're starting out with a really low poly mesh there. And if you bring it up to two, you're starting more with more geometry on there. I like to start out with density 2. So whatever works for you, if you rather do density 1, that's fine. I rather do density 2. And I'm going to click on make adaptive skin. Once I click on make adaptive skin, you're going to see your skin, your adaptive skin here is going to be called skin underscore z spear. Just make sure that you click on that. I'm going to click on it. And once I click on it and I go back to my canvas and I press A on my keyboard, if I press A, I'm not able to go back to my Z spears anymore because this is my base mesh. This is permanent already. This is my, this is where I'm going to start sculpting. And in the next video, I will show you how to black out the, the forms of the body.